Hello Kaiju fans of all kinds, I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bandai Movie Monster series, Servum. Now this guy made his first appearance in Godzilla Planet of the Monsters, or Godzilla Monster Planet, as, well, when it was coming out, well, actually here, I have a little story about the Servum. So when they released pictures of him, and like, you know, from the movie and the figure, I originally, I don't know, we didn't really know anything about him, because this is the first new Toho monster since Monster X, and we, what I originally thought, my original idea was that there was a bunch, there was, we saw like the stuff with the swarms of servum attacking the people, so what I thought is that the little swarms of servum, you know, they were going to be just on the planet as one of the monsters, and then eventually maybe the Godzilla was going to fight a swarm of them, and then I, with this figure, I thought there was going to be a queen servum. That would fight Godzilla as in like a final battle, but obviously you know that did not happen. Servum is sort of a subspecies of Godzilla or something like that. It's interesting. Every scene with the Servums, for example, when they're attacking the people in the first one and also City of the Edge battle, it's they're really cool scenes. But they literally every single one ends way too quickly. Every scene with Servum is very cool, but it lasts like a couple seconds and then they go away. For they, the worst one to think is the. Uh, for example, that great scene in Monster Planet when they're attacking the bike, the people flying on the bike things, and they, uh, the Seraphim just sort of go away. They just sort of fly away eventually, and it's like, oh, I guess Toho didn't really know what to do with this monster. So yeah, they, they, they were kind of, they were pretty disappointing in the movies. Here's the tag for Seraphim. It's weird how they got lazy and they didn't use a picture of Seraphim, they just used the poster for the movie. So, you get, you know, actually it is a really cool poster, I do like the poster. It says Servum right there in Japanese and in English, 2017. And like said, the poster for Godzilla Monster Planet. Inside we get a bunch of information. It's weird how he doesn't have his own little copyright logo. But then we get a little silhouette of Servum. He's got really skinny legs. And then on the back, we just get Godzilla Spines, it says Movie Monster Series, and right there it says Godzilla Monster Planet, or Planet of the Monsters. And this is actually in the line, this is when they stopped doing, they didn't, they're not doing the silhouettes of the spines anymore. Well, okay, it is sort of still a silhouette, but they're actually like, it's more like a picture almost, like there's actual color to it. So that's a, that's a turn that all the tags will go with eventually, and they're actually used a lot, like even less of a silhouette. So yeah, the tag's pretty cool. It's weird that they didn't have an actual picture of Servum, but uh, whatever, it's, it's not that big a deal. Now moving on to the figure. One thing I gotta say, even though he was a disappointment in the movies, I actually do like Servum. Like, I think he's got a cool design. I just think he was underutilized in the movies. But first we're gonna go over detail. Now I gotta say, the detail on this guy's really good, actually. We get some great detail on the face with all those rows. Like, they actually did have, like, the bunch of teeth. It's very, a lot of teeth in his mouth. And then the eyes, this first of all, interesting enough, the Servum has a lot of eyes. It's very weird looking. But then we got some more great detail on the head here, with a little crest sort of thing. Going down the neck, great detail there, and we go into the little spikes going down the back. All the way down the tail. And where it has a little, uh, I don't know, not really a club, but it just kind of goes off a bunch of little things there. Great detail on the inside. His little, I like his, it's weird, it's, the, the figure is like squatting, like it's like he's squatting down, because the servant's legs are like, they're long and skinny, so right on the figure it's like he's squatting down, so yeah, it helps the figure to stand. Then we get his little arms there, tiny little arms, good detail on the fingers and all that. I really like the detailing on the wings, we got the little separating parts there, some great detail up top here, this, yeah I think this is actually, the wings probably the best looking part of him. It's nicely sculpted, got some good detail right where it connects to the body. So yeah, detailing on the sky, I gotta say, is actually really good. Moving on to paint job. So for paint job on this guy, he's mostly just a sort of darkish, sort of a navy blue. Or maybe it's green, I'm a little bit colorblind, not gonna lie. But I would say it's like a navy blue that sort of just goes throughout the body. There are some sort of different shades of, uh, or darker shades, I should say. But one of the more interesting things about the figure, if we close in, let's go to his face here. I'm not sure how well it's showing on the camera, but if you look, there is like spark- this guy's sparkling. There is sparkles, little tiny sparkles, pretty much all over this guy. The camera, there's not too many on the wings, it's more on the body. Here, I'll turn- oh, actually, I'll turn on flash to see, see if that helps. 
All right, I'm turning on the flash real quick. So yeah, now you can definitely see it. Like this guy, this is a sparkly guy right here. This looks. I don't know. I don't know why they went with that, but I don't know. I think it's kind of cool looking. Yeah, look at all that. This is sparkles all over this. Yeah, it looks really cool. Then you can see here the eyes are all painted sort of a red orange. Other than that, it's pretty much just the navy blue paint to it. So, yeah, pretty cool. Articulation. Nothing. There's no articulation on this guy. Guess I could have made the head move, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, no, no articulate. There's no articulation on this. For some size comparisons, here we have him compared next to the NECA Godzilla 2001, or Green MK as I like to call it, and the Revoltech Gauss 1967. And here we have him compared to two Bandai Movie Monster Series anime Godzillas, with Godzilla 2017, which is also the one that was released in the line with Servum, and the Godzilla Earth, or Godzilla 2018. Another thing, in case you're wondering why I didn't do a review of him, because he was he would be next in line after Shin Godzilla Form B and before Servum, but I it's because I already did a review of him and I was quite happy with how it came out, so I didn't I wasn't gonna redo it. So I'll put the link to that video in the description below so you can go watch that. Okay, well I backed out the camera a bit because these guys all have giant wingspans here, but here we have a compared nice to the Bandai Move Monster series Mothra. And the Bandai Move Moth series Ghidorah 2019, I mean 2018, not 2019, uh, or Anime Ghidorah. Now, interesting thing here, let's take Mothra out of here for a second. Something that caused a lot of uh, uproar in the fan base a little bit when this certain figure came out. Yeah, very interesting. Now, a lot of people complained, oh, it's just the Servum with three heads. Uh, well, no, not really. Even the wings aren't actually, I mean, they look similar. I mean, I'm comparing the two right here. They are clearly not the same. The Servum is a lot, actually, ironically, Servum has bigger wings than Ghidorah does here. So, yeah, not, not really the same figure. Similar wings, yes, but that's about as close as you can get. So that was my review on the Bandai Movie Monster series Servum. I think this is a pretty good figure. There aren't any other Servum figures in existence. This is the only one. Kind of would have been interesting if Monster Arts made one or something. But yeah, this is the only one. There's not even any repaints of this figure, like a theater exclusive or anything. The only theater exclusive there was for this movie was the uh, the Godzilla 2017 got a theater exclusive. But anyway, so if you want to serve a figure, this is your only choice. And I'd say it's 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 actually a pretty decent figure, other than being extremely out of scale with the uh, the Godzilla. I mean, maybe maybe you could get the, uh, the the Monster King series Godzilla, and then that might be better scale. But I don't know if that's even still. I don't know. That might still not even be accurate. But I don't know. I'm rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, whatever, and I will see you in the next one.